how is it to go? Well, night out there, everybody. This is Jordan Jones. Welcome back to Republic of Jordan. In my playthrough, Super Mario Galaxy for Nintendo Wii. You guys can give me a favor. You can leave a huge like on this video. We really appreciate that. I'm going to ask you guys this for question of the video. What's your favorite lava level in Mario history and why? I would love to know down in the comments below. I'm not sure what my favorite lava level is. I'm not sure. Now we're going to do through the meteor storm. This looks fun. It looks exciting. We're gonna have a lot of fun with this one. Now leave. Now leave. Let's blast off with gold. Be careful about this part, because these swamps will kill you in one hit. One, two, three. Alright. to make a mistake. You don't want to do that. You don't want to mess up at all, just do the safe route. Don't do anything risky. Like I said, this has been a fun play too. Alright, let's go in the watch store. And this part's pretty easy right here. This part's pretty easy, you just gotta get rid of these guys right here. And you gotta build an angle bolt bill up here. Just take your time. This part's pretty easy. Right? It's actually the easiest part of this level. We're well, gonna be on the star ball, we'll have to roll that star. Hopefully we do that fairly easily, okay. Alright, we got rid of those guys. Take my star bit. Star bits are very useful here. You can use star bit to stun those. That's the most effective way for me to do it. Make sure you have a lot of star bits before you go up here if you want to do this very easily like I do. Alright. 
There we go. That was easy. Now we're going to the worst part of the level. Now we're going to the part level where I need my 100% focus because this part can be tedious. It's very easy to die this part. So we'll focus and let's get started. Let's get it on. I'm just going to go slowly because I don't really care about speed or anything like that. I'm just going to go slowly. about me dying on this level. I, that's for expected anyway. I, I can't even beat this level every time. I can beat it sometimes and it just might take a couple tries like I said. Because this, it's a pretty difficult level. It's a pretty challenging level right here. So it might take a couple tries like I said. chance of messing up. Alright, are you ready? One, two, three. Perfect! That took two tries. <laughs> it didn't take as many as I thought it would. That's all you gotta do. It's not that tough when you get used to it. I'm gonna save after this one so I don't have to replay this level again. In case. What is our star here? What? The comment's not here? I guess we'll do the pressure comment later. Hopefully, the third star here will be pretty easy. And it's definitely, in my opinion, easier than the second star here. Fairy Dino Piranha. Here we go. I was really focused on the previous star. Here we go. slowly go with the proper pattern. This is a pretty easy area right here. This is a pretty easy galaxy once you get used to it. A lot of people complain and say this galaxy is hard. Honestly, for me, it's not that hard. Except for the second star. And except for the Daredevil Comet. The second star was you using that star ball to go across. One, two, three. This part, your backflips are very useful. I'm really good with my backflips. This part, this part I'm really good with. Especially once I get to be able to, um, you just have the time to master this level right here until you can do it every time. Once you do it every time, it becomes easy. And that's, like I said, this star right here is not particularly difficult except for the boss. 
I'll, I'm not saying the boss. I'm probably not. Gonna, I don't think I'm going to this. I'm likely going to die on this boss. I don't think I'm going to die on this. Uh, I know it went down the first time, Rado. Oh, it got easy. The audio, the visual cues are simple right here. Uh, this is a very easy galaxy, I'd say. Melon Malton Galaxy is not difficult. It's like when you look at Slava levels. Definitely it's easier. Toy Time Galaxy and Dreadnought Galaxy. Those are my two hardest ones. Right and I'm not even down Toy Time Galaxy once. Alright, let's see Alright. This part's not too, too difficult, thankfully. I'm just gonna go slowly because I don't wanna mess up. I don't wanna mess up. Super difficult, um, but he's like difficult ish, I guess. He's like medium difficulty, I have to say, because mo all the other bosses are just super easy. Um, they're ridiculously easy. It's ridiculous how easy they are. I'm glad we have this with us. This level very often have that. We didn't even die once in this level. That was great. Let's fight the boss. Let's fight the boss. Once again, get rid of all the crystals before you, just like with the first Tower Prada. This is more difficult than the first Tower Prada, but probably the hardest boss of this game, but I don't think this boss is too, too difficult. Once again. Thank goodness, this is not too, too difficult as I'm used to. I think this boss is probably medium difficulty, maybe. Since all the other bosses are just capable. Alright, we're fighting Fury Dial of Rana. I don't think we've died once in this galaxy. How are we not? I, we only died once in this galaxy. It's on the Verdant Star, so we did die. Alright, here's the most difficult phase right here, this boss. We can... I, I'm gonna take it easy and slow. Come on, get him. Yes! How do we do it so easily? Like I said, this game's just a cakewalk. This game is a piece of cake. I think it's only six times we died by accident, and the one time on purpose just to show what it's like if you died on that one level. Let's back look into the star. All right. We collected 94 stars in this playthrough. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. Let's see if there's the comments here. It is here, so we'll do that in the next video. All right, you guys, I say thank you very much for watching, and don't forget to leave a like on this video if you enjoyed, and have a good one. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.